Hello, my name is Scott C. Warren of UFOSightingsDaily.com and as you know I like to go through NASA photographs to try to uh, catch alien evidence inside of it and I found this face in one of the Mars photos. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see this as it zooms out. Perhaps you can see the face, perhaps you cannot see the face. Um, right about here it's most detailed. Uh, notice the eye, the nose, the mouth, the lips, the upper lip, see the crevice in the upper lip, the jaw, the neck, see the, the, the jaw bone right here as it curves up, and something that looks like long flowing hair in the back. Okay, this, this is really an amazing face. I haven't seen one like this in uh, months. Uh, but this was in a NASA photo, and I will zoom out so you can see this structure better. Okay, here we are. And let me zoom out even more. Uh, I'm trying to move this so you can see it. And this is the full picture right there. Now, if you want to see it as big as I show you, you're going to have to enlarge its size. And the object is right here. It looks like the head of a statue pointing, poking out of the ground, uh, long since buried from long ago. Uh, very old, but still the detail on its face is extremely great. Uh, let me zoom into that a little bit. There we go. Now let's try to change the color so you can see the altered color. Uh, when it's in normal color, this is what it looks like right there. That's normal color. Uh, let me move that aside and zoom out. Let you see the object, the face. The face is next to a lot of nothing out there. Um, there is another possible face over here, but it's so tiny, it's so small, and the detail is so messed up, it's really hard to tell. Uh, looks like maybe eye, eye, nose, lips, and chin, and another one facing this way. This one's facing you and me, looking at it. Uh, but that could be nothing at all right there. Um, you really got to focus on the higher detail faces and things, otherwise we're going to get nothing from NASA except for laughter. Uh, we really need to focus on the, the real substance here, and the substance has to have detail, and this is pretty good detail. Okay, zooming in a little bit for you. This is on Mars. Pretty amazing creature. Um, I can't say I've seen anything like this, but it, you notice the cheekbones. See the cheekbones right here? The eye has a nose like a sheep and flowing hair like a sheep but yet the chin, the lips, the cheekbones and around the lower part of the eye looks rather human-like. So whatever this species was it is pretty great that we still are able to catch it and see it. Um, it is also possible, you have to understand, that this is an incomplete statue of the face of an uh, ancient species, but maybe the top portion was broken, or maybe the back where the flowing hair was uh, mostly covered in sand and slightly broken. Uh, maybe meteor is broken, maybe uh, a war, who knows. But the thing is, um, we have to take this with a grain of salt and understand it could be incomplete. It's so ancient and we have we need a little bit higher detail to see whether it's complete or not. Uh, but it's still an amazing discovery. Let's zoom in as much as we can on this little thing. Okay, there we go. There we go. Um, pretty great detail there. See the lower lip, the mouth, the upper lip, the eye, the cheekbone. The cheekbone curves here just like a human's and goes a little bit higher 
Uh, the jawbone comes down here and up and over. You can see the shadow where the neck is. This shadow area is the neck. Uh, pretty cool. All right, I will put the link for this photo if, if you want to visit it and find it for yourself. Um, and if you get a chance, check out my my website at www.ufosightingsdaily.com. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you.